what is up everybody welcome to today's video and today's video is just a little unboxing and my thoughts on the new mercurial superfly 8 um, sometimes i get them confused with the vapor and superfly and i know the vapor is 14 and this is the 8 I have a little a little um bit of a some advice to Nike. I wish they would follow, and I'm not the only one who um, thinks this. But here is a 10.5. This is what it box comes in your normal silver box for now. Put this here um, to open it up, and we have the shoe. Here is the uh, Superfly 8. Um, it looks great, amazing, um, but if you're asking yourself why does it look so similar to the Vapor 14, and that is just simply put, it is exactly the same, exactly the same shoe. Here we go, other shoe exactly the same not much differences there it's not a difference between the vapor and the superfly so again there's not much difference to talk about there's not different tech specs there isn't anything really different about these shoes and i'm not the only one that has voice or this opinion or who've thought about this there have been um other youtubers who also have um talked about you know there's no difference between the the mercurial vapor and the superfly anymore there used to be and i'll show you guys um the differences but uh i guess i can kind of the only thing different is this part so let me Take this out right here and it is a little bit flimsier than previous um, versions a little bit looser so essentially I don't know I wouldn't say it's a worse shoe than the past because this really didn't offer nothing as far as it wasn't for any type of um, ankle support or anything like that um it just it used to be different <laughs> it used to be a completely different shoe and i wish i knew why um nike did this uh, but again like i said if you if you look at this you've seen this before i've done this review basically you're probably asking yourself uh, if look at it basically this is the same shoe as what I reviewed before. You do this, all you're missing is a little orange pull tab. And it's the same exact shoe, feels the same. It might be a little bit heavier, maybe just because of this little added material. Again, that doesn't offer much at all other than just being higher. Now, ever since I believe it was the last, last model I wanna say, I'm gonna say the Superfly it was it the six? I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't remember where they made them the same. Um, but let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna move these out of the way for a little bit, and I'm gonna pull out. I do have um, some shoes that, or some boots that I that what to show you what I'm talking about. So these, if I'm not mistaken. And don't mind the little customization that I did to these, if you're familiar with um, Dragon Ball Z. I'll show you guys. Let's see if the camera will get it. I just put little Goku Black on the back of the cleat. Because <laughs> it goes with the theme of being pink. Now these are the 11. And these were, were, were a synthetic upper okay this is the 11 synthetic upper 
good shoe. The only thing I didn't like about these is they never really, I could never really get them tight around my ankle. So for me, that was a little uncomfortable, but of course I still love the vapor. It just always was just wide right here. I don't know if anybody else had that problem. I tried different ways of, of tying them. I tried um, trying to go in instead of out or out instead of in, pulling really tight. And I don't know if it was just the laces that eventually, no matter how tight I tied them, they would eventually just kind of, um, uh, it would just loosen up, okay? So that was my only gripe, I guess, or complaint about the uh, these vapors and the synthetic upper. Um, and I'll show you guys the Superfly then. So the Superfly version of this is like right here. I've never worn these. Um, this is like my only pair that I ever purchased uh, from like the GOAT app, if you're familiar with that, but way under um, even retail. I didn't, I didn't even pay resale or nothing like that, but I just really wanted these two. And this is a whole flying it upper. It's a, it's a, a um, Line it upper. This collar, like I said, is a little bit more stiffer, so it's harder to get your foot in, of course. Still does not offer any type of ankle protection, nothing like that. The only thing it really helps with is if you play on turf, which you shouldn't really, um, you just won't get those pebbles or anything like that. And your sock's going to stay cleaner <laughs> on that, on your ankle part. Um, other than that, this doesn't really do much. But these are completely different shoes. Um, and the feel and the experience is very, very different. So I wish Nike would go back to the, doing that, doing something where um, we could potentially um, ask ourselves, do we want the Vapor or do we want the Superfly? Now it's just like, hmm, the only difference is it's like, do we really want to pay the premium price for the Superfly, or I'm gonna remove these, or um, or stick to the cheaper price or pay the higher price? That is really what it comes down to now. Um, and to me, the reason I would pick the Superfly is just because I like to look better. That's really the only difference. There would be no other reason to have to pick the Superfly over the Vapor. So, Nike, I know you're not listening to this. I know you're not watching this, but it would be great. Listen, I work for Nike. So, for me, I think sales. That's what I want to know. I, want, I, I mean, that's what I think of. So, my thing is, you know, you're making people not have to choose. There would probably be some people like myself who would buy both if they were different. But it's like... Now you really don't need to do that. Does that make sense to you guys? I'm, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of um, new, uh, you know, soccer players who are barely coming up. Maybe if you're in high school, so you don't really aren't really familiar with that stuff, or if you're a long time um, enthusiast of boots, soccer shoes, like myself, then you kind of know. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a great option for Nike to try to figure something out. I thought maybe they would have done that this time around after we had voiced our opinion about that in the past, but they haven't, and it's 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 okay. This is probably gonna stick around for another two to three years, I bet, and they'll just um, make different colorways, obviously, and maybe in the future um, they'll go back to offer making those two be different options. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. There isn't, there isn't such thing as a Superfly and there isn't such thing as a Vapor. When the Superfly first came out, it was a totally different shoe from the Vapor. It looked the same. Some, you know, you would you would think that, no, there's just some carbon fiber in there. But no, it was actually a completely different shoe. I never get to try any of the early um, versions of the Superfly. Um, but I did try uh, uh, the Vapors anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I think Nike needs to go back to, um, making two different shoes. Otherwise it's just the same thing. So 
can I tell you what version you should pick between the Vapor or the Superfly? No. Um, do I think the smartest choice, the smarter choice is going with the um, Mercurial Vapor 14? Probably, if you're going to upgrade. I still think the 13 is a great um, shoe. Uh, and and uh, the 7 is, is good as well. Um... So yeah, I, I can't tell you which one to pick of the new versions. I guess it just be, comes down to, do you want a little bit of extra material? Do you like that ankle, you know, um, material right there? Um, and do you want to pay a little bit more? Those That's what it would come down to. Because um, now one thing I will say, I hope the Superfly fixes it. Now you're probably asking me, then why did I get the Superfly? Because for me, the the, the Vapor 14, uh, my foot was kind of loose in that air ankle area. You know, it was kind of like when you wear a shoe that is too big and my foot was moving around too much. But it, it's not that it's not that it's a the shoe doesn't isn't true to size because it still is. It fits perfect once you put your foot in. It's just when I started running and moving around. I can't describe it. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's just I didn't tie them tight around my ankle or what. So I'm hoping. I don't like to tie my shoes very tight anyway. So I'm hoping that with the Superfly then, that really doesn't happen um, with that. So those are my thoughts. It's They're not going to change. Again, like I said, I'm not the only one. I'm not the first one to bring this up. But from sales perspective, from an employee that works for Nike... You know, I think that would be something great, and and it just is better for um, the community, rather the soccer community, rather you play, rather you just like new boots, new releases, stuff like that. Like myself, um, I think it's just a win-win for everybody to, you know, actually have two options and have to decide. You know, man, am I gonna get this one or am I gonna get that one? And then really enjoy the tech specs you know of two different boots that you know because the superfly was supposed to just be you know a, a better step up version of from the mercurial and now they're just like this neck and neck it's just if you want a little more material but guys that's gonna wrap up this video not too long um but hopefully you watched it all if you are new here Go ahead, please subscribe, give a like, um, comment if you're new, uh, comment what your thoughts are if you if you think they're not the same. I've had people tell me they're not the same, but they really are the same. Um, having both in hand, trying both on, there's, they don't offer, it's not a different experience, you know, versus like you wear a synthetic or a leather, it's completely different feels, everything is different. Um, so yeah, you know, they're basically the same. So, so leave me your thoughts, guys. Um, as always, stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.